to please give us the welcome address. Let's give them a big round of applause, people. Very good morning. Sri Pushkar Singh Dhami Ji, Honorable Chief Minister of Dev Bhumi, State of Uttarakhand. Sri Premchand Agarwal Ji, Honorable Minister of Finance, Government of Uttarakhand. Sri Sudanshu, IAS, Principal Secretary, Urban Development, Forest and Environment. Sri Vijay Shankar Pandey, IAS, Secretary, Industries, Government of Uttarakhand. Mr. Rohit Meena, Director General and Commissioner of Industries, State of Uttarakhand and Dr. A.P. Pandey, Senior Vice President of Century Pulp and Paper Mills, Aditya Birla Group. Industry leaders, ladies and gentlemen, it is on behalf of CIA as well as on my personal behalf, it is my immense pleasure and privilege to welcome you all to this iconic Global Investor Summit, which is going to be held by State of Uttarakhand in first week of December. We are equally delighted to have Sri Pushkar Singh Ji on this particular moment where he has decided Ahmedabad as one of the destinations to come and present us the kind of wonderful, interesting opportunities of investment in state of Uttarakhand. And we are very much grateful and thankful to you, sir for giving this opportunity to us. If we talk about relationship of Gujarat and Uttarakhand, it is very, very, I should say, symbiotic, inspiring, and also accelerating. Gujarat has got a very long history of entrepreneurship, and uh, trade and industry has been in blood of Gujarati entrepreneur. But if we talk about industry, industry is combination of Lakshmi and Saraswati. But when we talk about Dev Bhumi Uttarakhand, it has got a rare privilege in field of education, being an engineer. I remember way back, I am talking about 40s and 50s, one of the premier engineering colleges, there were four engineering colleges in India, and one of them was in Roorkee. That is the kind of legacy of Uttarakhand in terms of field of education. So point is that when Saraswati and Lakshmi combine together, the magic can be created. We are also having a very special place for state of Uttarakhand in northern region of CII, where we have been associated with uh, Uttarakhand right from their inception, and we are participant in their visions and dreams right from beginning. While talking about Uttarakhand as a state, I mean we all recognize Uttarakhand as Dev Bhumi, but at the same time it has got a huge contribution in national economy in field of automobiles, pharmaceutical, as well as education. And this is something which is very much on a very, very prominent level. But the Global Investor Summit under dynamic leadership of Pushkar Singh Ji is going to take to the next level. And I am really looking forward to have more information from state of Uttarakhand because right now the governance of India and particularly Uttarakhand is uh, you know, driven by double engine. One is dynamism of Chief Minister Shri Pushkar Singh Ji and vision of our Honorable Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi. So I am pretty sure that today whatever we are going to hear from them, it is going to inspire the spirit of entrepreneurship and also the killer instinct of Gujarati entrepreneurs to associate with state of Uttarakhand. With that note, I thank you all and welcome you again and thank uh, Shri Pushkar Singh Ji Shri Agarwal ji and all officials of state of Uttarakhand to come over here and be part of this roadshow which has been presented to us. Thank you very much.
Thank you, sir. That speech was extremely inspiring, and we are now ready to start the day with a bang. Next, we have a keynote presentation, so I'd like to invite Mr. R.K. Sudhanshu, Principal Secretary, Urban Development, Forest and Environment, Government of Uttarakhand, to address the audience on investment opportunities and overview of sectoral policies. पहले तो आप सनु डेस्टिनेशन उत्तराखंड में हार्दिक स्वागत छु ऑनरेबल चीफ मिनिस्टर उत्तराखंड श्री जसकर सिंह धामी जी ऑनरेबल फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर श्री प्रेमचंद अग्रवाल जी श्री यतेंद्र शर्मा जी श्री ए पी पांडे जी श्री विनय शंकर पांडे सेक्रेटरी इंडस्ट्रीज श्री रोहित मीना and uh, all the leaders from industry, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, of course, it is pleasure and privilege both that we have got an opportunity to host the destination Uttarakhand. And, but while uh, prior to making presentation, one thing came to my mind, why industry should be coming to Uttarakhand? Why? I try to empathize, I try to think once, twice, thrice, and then the reply was here. The reply was here, the Honorable Prime Minister, not once, on several occasions, he has mentioned that the next decade is of Uttarakhand. Why so? Why so? Because, because the kind of a state Uttarakhand has, I think we needless to say, everybody is interested in coming to Uttarakhand. Uh, if you talk about Himalayas, if you talk about uh, uh, serenity, peace, peacefulness, every everything, everything is there. So, I like uh, six uh, days uh, in business or uh, governance or management, but there are six stigmas. So I have tried to categorize in a manner that for industries or by destination Uttarakhand because, because we have these six, like six stigmas. Uh, one is place, I will come uh, come to uh, come into detail. And then of course place I already mentioned, perception. Perception is equally important, otherwise, uh, uh, there are stories uh, because of per bad perception. Actually, people or investors they do not uh, do not want to go go to a, go to a place uh, where other facilities are similarly processes, uh, then policies, and uh, uh, power. Power is one of the major important uh, 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 things actually, which is important for for investors. And last but not the least, uh, patronage. So I will come one by one. Uh, if we talk about uh, place, need again needless to say what is Uttarakhand. If we talk about in terms of the connectivity, uh, connecti it takes, be it uh, a road, if we talk about road, it, is, it takes just two and a half hours. Uh, be it Kumai or be it Garhwal, both sides. Uh, in another you can say six months time or uh, one year time, we, we will be reaching uh, be it Haldwani in Kumai or Rudrapur or Kasipur, all the industrial estates. Or in Rurki, Rurki. Yesterday I was having a discussion with one of the industrialists who, who, who is having a, a setup actually there in uh, Rurki. So uh, he was telling me that uh, you know sometimes it takes it takes four hours or like that. I told him, I assured him. मैंने कहा कि देखो लगता होगा भले चार 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 घंटे लगता होगा, but it's a matter of time. Within within six months of time or seven months time or maximum one year time, he will be reach from your place in Delhi to Rurki in just two hours, less than two hours of time. This is this is a, this is our our uh, uh, major uh, this thing. Uh, if we talk about uh, uh, rail connectivity, yes, it is uh, one of the best. We have Vande Matra, Vande Bharat. We have Tatabdi. We have all uh, even uh, for Kumai or for, for 
the wall we have good rail connectivity and so is so is the air connectivity uh, again i told you uh, uh, if this uh, if we talk about law and order law and order uttarakhand again is considered to be one of one of one of the one most peaceful state actually in the in the northern northern india a uh, niti ayog's sd sdc ranking shows that uh, in peace justice and a strong institutions uh, rightly said one of my predecessor uh, 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 categorically mentioned that even even some 30 40 years back we had institutions like iit roorkee now we have we have more than 20 universities we have a skill development centers we have we have iim kasipur we have we have private universities and all and if we talk about in terms of a schooling both kumai and garhwal they are doing fantastically well if we talk about uh, like uh, you know, uh, dune school lot lot many lot many students i have seen they are coming all the way from gujarat to gujarat to dera to dune to send their children to study there uh, similarly similarly uh, uh, i can say that uh, uh, growth manufacturing employment in last two, two dec decades it has it has doubled tripled or like that and if uh, in terms of demographic dividend 70% of the working workforce is, uh, is is there of the total population so 15 to 35 if we talk about the the, the demographic dividend sdi sdi uh, as compared to the other northern states the sdi is much much higher in uttarakhand so be it a skilled labor force be it other uh, uh, man uh, other type of uh, human skill skilled lab labor force working workforce uttarakhand has everything uh again perception how perception i will i will i will not go through all the details a uh, perception is a culmination of uh, of uh, many things actually which which is which is achieved over a period of time so so uh, uh, i while talking to many industries or industries uh, friends from industries they go to a place first they they study first they evaluate that how is the perception of the state under the able leadership of our honorable chief minister he is going all the way actually from chennai to dubai to london and and uh, and he more importantly he is ready to listen to everybody any time uh, even yesterday yesterday uh, day for yesterday couple of days uh, back there was a, there was a meeting regarding uh, vigilance uh, uh, so so he categorically mentioned that uh, the the complaints the complaints what secretaries are not getting the director of vigilance are not getting the uh, people can people can directly send it to send it to his phone and uh, so th this is this is the this is the this is the, the uh, that's how the perception is created uh policies policies we have whole lot of policies policy sectoral policy again i will not go into details but we are ready to customize it that is that is very important actually if somebody is coming and and uh, we uh, uh, providing employment uh, for more than uh, 500 people so so our chief minister has categorically mentioned that tum isko isko customize karo customize karo aur unki kya zarurat hai uske hisab se karo and we are ready to uh, ready to customize policies as per the requirement of the industries again that is that is one of the one of the major major things actually how uh, why one should be coming coming to uttarakhand and of course we have mega industrial policy msme policy uh, uh, tourism policy drone policy it policy film policy film policy again i i would like to mention here that ever since the state uh, came up with poly, uh, film promotion policy shooting policy every day every day we are getting actually uh, request from uh, from uh, all over the uh, all over the country so one of the hollywood movies are, are being uh, uh, was being shot there uh, shot there so and uh, processes of course uh, 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 industry requires when while uh, setting up it requires a whole lot of uh, uh, it undergoes a lot of processes so but we have developed a single a single uh, window system and it is monitored uh, at the level of the chief honorable chief minister 
and and the chief chief uh, chief secretary as well one, once a month and uh, uh, timeline 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 has been fixed and uh, second thing uh, because if industry is set up and uh, so so the workforce and all actually they are going to reside there and their citizen centric services they require services public service delivery system i would like to mention that apni sarkar has been has been rated one of the best actually in the entire northern state and i think more than more than a million actually issues have been resolved resolved through through this apni sarkar apni sarkar so we have a, a single window system transparent land allotment system citizen centric services through uh, uh, online portals and uh, of course power power is important just last line i would like to mention here that that even if during summer there when there is a shortage there is a shortage of power we purchase the state purchase pur purchases power at the rate of 20 28 rupees per unit and but at the same time provides provides power to industries at the rate of 5.5 rupees it is this is a big thing actually this is this is this is called patronage and of course uh, last but not the least i will i will narrate a story here one of my friends again uh, was uh, uh, investing uh, rather invested some uh, huge amount of money to set up uh, set up their industry but uh, and uh, again he has, uh, he he uh, started to have a lot of lot of problems there try to contact the authorities so what i but in just i think 3 months of time his, his industry was uh, shut down and he had to go somewhere else so there was a huge loss unless there is a patronage and uh, i i told you uh, that every uh, it is monitored by the uh, at the level of the honorable chief minister and uh, at the level of the honorable chief secretary on a uh, on a monthly basis so 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 patronage is uh, 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 equally important uh, without us and because of the patronage i would like to mention that uh, our legacy is such actually uh, i think uh, uh, name of few actually because uh, industry like ashoka leland tata mahindra eis das and uh, uh, a whole lot of uh, industry industries are already there uh, uh, already there and thriving uh, last uh, yesterday i was talking to again one of the industrialists uh, who who came from who has a, who has a unit uh, in rurki so i asked him Uh, he was telling me that you know gujarat uh, wanted to attract uh, the investment actually what we were planning to but but aakhir hame karna kya hai with hame hame hum ab kis tarah se karna chahte hain ki hamara jo bhi investment ho usse ek sukh mile pleasure mile bliss mile why so unka kehna hai ki ab hamare paas paise hain to mujhe achanak yaad aaya ki vidya dadati viniyam vinyat yati patra tvam patra swadhanam maapnoti dhanat dharmam tata sukham कहने का मतलब यह है जैसा जैसा प्रीडिसेसर ने कहा कि हरिद्वार में इंडस्ट्री लगाना आखिर पैसा आपके पास नॉलेज है विद्या दाती नॉलेज एंड एलिजिबिलिटी कैपेबिलिटी और उसके बाद आप जब एलिजिबिलिटी आ गई तो आपके पास पैसे भी आ गए पैसे आ गए तो अब उसके बाद आपको धर्म करना है धर्म करना है तभी आपको ब्लिस की प्राप्ति होगी सुख उसके लिए हरिद्वार ऋषिकेश चारधाम गंगा इससे अच्छी मानस खंड इससे अच्छी क्या जगह हो सकती है इसलिए मैं कहना चाह रहा हूं कि डेस्टिनेशन आप अगर एक कदम आगे बढ़ते हैं हम चार कदम आगे बढ़ने के लिए तैयार हैं एंड आपको आपको हम इम्ब्रेस वी आर रेडी टू इम्ब्रेस इम्ब्रेस यू आप यू हैव टू शो योर इंटेंट थैंक यू वेरी मच कम टू उत्तराखंड डेस्टिनेशन उत्तराखंड थैंक यू Thank you very much, sir, for enlightening us with your insights today. We truly appreciate your dedication to address this wonderful audience, and it was absolutely motivating. I think we, he deserves another round of applause. May I now please invite Mr. Rohit Meena, Director General and Commissioner of Industries, Uttarakhand, to speak on investable projects. Can we give him a big round of applause, please? good afternoon everyone i'm sure uh, the kind of uh, energetic presentation which you all have seen just now only it tells about that why it, why we are talking about uttarakhand i'm sure you must have uh, you must have like uh, you must have observed that we are having a tagline of destination uttarakhand destination means it's a uh, uttarakhand is going to be the destination of all kind of investment as well as for all kind of the people itself so that is what we are talking about and our tagline is peace to prosperity yes our major strength 
there could be n number of incentives which anyone can provide but the kind of the ecosystem law and order which we are talking about that is the best in the country so as far as uh, uttarakhand is concerned we are saying that we are future ready and we have sustainable investment destination location in uttarakhand so when i am saying future ready and at the same time we are saying destination uttarakhand we are trying to pose this question to each one of you that we have prepared all the policies almost 27 plus policies are prepared right now in last 3 to 6 months itself at a war level effort itself in such a with such kind of scenarios now we have also done your hard work which you have to put up in case if you are putting up the investment anywhere in the country but when you are talking about uttarakhand we have created a land bank of close to 6000 acres and have created more than 200 plus investable projects which can digest investment in tune of around 75000 crore so that is kind of preparedness which we have done so that is why we are calling it destination uttarakhand so i would be just giving a bit of the glimpse of the project major project in the coming uh, next uh, 7 to 8 minutes itself so uh, obviously when we talk about uttarakhand we all think about a snow clad himalaya location the location which would be having the snow clad for almost more than 6 months so in such scenario obviously hospitality is our key sector we have identified three locations in uttarakhand one known as uh, oli second one munshari and third one is the dayara bugyal in uttarkashi all these three locations would be having the snow clad himalayas for more than 6 months in a year that kind of location you cannot find anywhere in the country when we talk about gujaratis i'm sure we all talk about that okay they are extravaganza they earn a lot and at the same time they are looking for expenditure also so we invite all of you not only for exploring but at the same time we are asking you to put up your investment for these kind of ski infrastructure i'm talking about a kind of a switzerland in uttarakhand itself next one uh, is about hospitality project we were just uh, like uh, putting up a query here in this hayat only that okay what is the tariff rate at uh, like uh, where we are staying i think that's uh, around 12000 rupees for the medium class uh, rooms but when i talk about uttarakhand our standard room starts at 22000 rupees and the same hayat i am talking about the hayat dehradun only and the occupancy would be in tune of around 70% that is as good as any aero city is having anywhere in the whole world itself so that kind of the business rationale i am talking about and about the premiumness, Rishikesh is right now ranked number one in the country in terms of the highest average tariff rate. So that kind of hospitality projects can be put up in Uttarakhand. We have identified close to 20 locations where a person can come out with a 3 to 5 star hotel with an investment with more than 200 crore plus. And at the same time, we have also identified 